Well, it turned into a high-stakes rescue mission to help save an endangered Northern California fish. News 10's Dave Marquez reports tonight from along the Sacramento River east of Woodland. <laughs> up to seven feet long, the prehistoric green sturgeon ended up trapped in the Yolo Bypass as floodwaters went down. These are big, magnificent fish. They're, they're primitive prehistoric dinosaurs. Fish and game crews and volunteers went to work using seine nets to push and gather the fish in knee-deep water. It's imperative that we get these fish out of this particular uh, side channel and back into the main stem of the river so that they can continue up towards Redding. This fish ladder is good enough for many fish species to be able to escape back into the Sacramento River, but the green sturgeon are one of the species that cannot get out, and they remain trapped on the other side. Poachers had already killed one of the rare fish. And then there was another individual that we did pull out today that clearly had, had somebody had tried to poach it. After an exhausting but exhilarating day, biologists manage an amazing accomplishment. We believe it's on the order of probably 50 to 100 individuals return each year to spawn. Okay, okay, okay we got hold them right here. The fact that we removed 12 from here today could be as much as 10% of, of the spawning population for this year. The sturgeon are tagged and soon released into the Sacramento River, a leg up for an old and endangered friend. In Yolo County, Dave Marquis, News 10. The tags will allow the biologists to track the sturgeon as they spawn and eventually return to sea. Tomorrow, workers and volunteers are going to drive out to the Tisdale Weir about 20 miles north to try to save even more fish that are believed to be trapped there.